Okay, we're going to find the domain of this function here. So in a logarithm, we want to find the domain. Our trick here is to just take our answer, so this 4x plus 4, and we're going to set it greater than 0. And then we're going to go through and we're going to solve that. So if we subtract a 4 here, we're going to get 4x is greater than negative 4, and then we'll divide by 4, and we'll get x is greater than negative 1. Okay, and if I put that in interval notation, I'm greater than negative 1, that's going to be option C here. So parentheses, negative 1 to infinity. Okay, and the reason why is if I plug negative 1 into this function, okay, 4 times negative 1 is um, negative 4, plus 4 would give me 0. Okay, that would um, give me, well, actually, that would give me 1 here. So let's take a look at this function so that we can confirm this. Okay, so if I have the TI 84, when I hit Y equals and I start putting this in, you should have the capability to put the base in. But if you have an older calculator like me, you're going to need to use the change of base formula. So I'm going to do log, and then I'm going to have 4X plus 4. And then I'm going to take that and divide that by log of my base, log 8. Okay, when I hit graph, here's what my function looks like. Okay, so if I'm taking a look at this function, it looks like we're going to negative 1, but let's confirm it with our table. So if I go over to my table, so second graph to get to the table, when I'm at the point negative 1, I do get an error in my function. Okay, so that is why we can't use the brackets here. We're going to use the parentheses because we're going to approach negative 1, but we're not going to actually touch it there. So that's going to give us an error. So that's why we're choosing C or we're doing the 4x plus 4 is greater than 0.